And then it's crazy because it's like, it's been so long. Like, I'm like, whoa, this was, you know, like two or three years ago during the heat of all this stuff, you know. I mean, I drew out all the dots, man. It's up to whoever interested in truth and justice and light, you know, and righteousness. We go on and connect those, you know. I talked about what I was going through. I ain't point no fingers, you know. Somebody could put themselves into that position. Then that's, you know, that's a done deal. I mean, it's closed situation, you know. It's guilt, you know. I know what I've been through. It's nothing funny, you know. And it's crazy to me because it's like things were perceived as like a joke, you know, like. While it was really life and death for me, you know, but it's like, it was life and death, but for some odd reason, there was a large, great majority that was treating it like it was a joke, but it was the real deal, like, daily, you know? I just didn't understand, like, why all this is happening? You know, all this was happening and it was being, like, taken lightly, like, just carelessly overlooked, like, you know, for years and years, months, it seemed like forever, you know, daily, and it just, like, condition you, it's like, conditioning how, how, how people train animals, those types of things that were being implemented on me to discourage me from the paths of righteousness, to discourage me from pursuing justice, to discourage me from doing the right thing. It failed though, but you know, just the fact that that's the nature of these types of situations, other situation as a whole, that's, that's the nature of it. Straight up, demonic, satanic, merciless, you know, long suffering, I suffer, you know, and I understand why I'm going through all these evils when I did nothing to deserve it, you know. And then that's when, you know, you learn, you feel me? You learn more about situations and, you know, you try to learn God with you. God was with me the whole time, you know. Christ, Lord is my witness, my witness, my testimony of Christ. Because if he wasn't with me, then I would have never made it to the point I'm at now. You know, just living, just, you know, being able to exist to the point I am now, you know, just think of how all this come, you know, like, you know, think of the time, and I always stress timing in a lot of my previous recordings, and, you know, every the timing is very important, you know, think of the timing of all this, you know, look at all this now, you know, what is for well, like two or three years ago, you know, when it was a lot worse, you know, it's crazy, like, even last year, you know, it was bad, too. See, like, right now, it was crazy, because, I mean, you got all that. You know, I've seen diversions, decoys, all types of, you know, actual, actual war tactics, like, implemented on my life, specifically. You know, the stuff that happened to me was on purpose. You know, like, I mean, it's, I don't know. I didn't know how to explain, you know, how to... Nobody ain't taught to handle that kind of thing unless they've been through it before. That was my first time. I don't know, instruction manual. So I started illuminating. Shed light on truth. Reach out, try to learn more about what's going on in my life because I didn't understand it, you know. But, you know, all the time, I, God, he let me see, you know, the things or understand the things that were, you know, happening. So that's what I stuck with, my testimony, you know? That's my testimony, my witness of Jesus. Because that's who I'm witness. He was there with me through it all. And I could put my hand on the Bible for that, you know? You know, yeah, then it's like the evil got more and more merciless, you know, for when the truth started coming. So it's like the implications and impositions, you know, uh, silencing you for exposing crime, you know? from, you know, the influential, the rich and powerful positions in society. You know, evil, just like the Bible, you know, prophesied. These are things I know as facts, 
you know, not no hypotheses or theories, you know, this this life, real life for me, you know, so I can't speak for somebody else. Many others don't have to go through that. But I did, and I don't understand why I had to, right? It's just God's plan, but I, it's real, you know, and I just use try to use my life to inspire, you know, those that, anyone struggling in their faith, man, know that the Lord is real, man, you know. And that's who I live for now as I did then, you know. It's not new. It's not new to me. You know, I just... It's crazy. I, you know, it, just think of, you know, the timing of it. It's like... It's massive satanic darkness they just like shadow like my life in a way and I just I, I I see it conceptually but I couldn't figure out like what exactly is this like I could always oh, always like a heavy shadow they just shadow my life like you know I've done nothing to bring it on myself or nothing like it just there to ensure my misery you know it's weird like and it's been that way for a long time, very long time. I understand it, like, you're just there harassing and slandering and all types of different things. Even persecution that's not widely promulgated and promoted, you know? So it's just pretty much the physical. It would have been a physical embodiment of hell, Hades, you know, in everyday life. Like, like that ain't what society's supposed to be like. I mean, it could have fooled me, I ain't know. But I learned. Still learning, you know. <coughs> God knows. God knows everything, you know. <coughs> Some people get fooled. Some. You know, but nobody can fool God, period, you know. So, I mean, did everything I could, though, you know. For so illuminating with what I had, the best of my ability from where I was, you know. There ain't really nothing else, you know. Like, what you capable of, like. This is direct, heavily persecution from like up top, like high positions in society, intentionally, you know, inadvertently being, you know, like administered, like being inactive work, you know. Uh, anybody who victim of the thing, you could tell that it's not, you know, it's not something that's. Coincidental or random, you know. And my thing is, even before that, before I became aware of it, I know my allegiance to Christ Jesus was very evident to anyone, you know, who saw or looked at my life, period. So, and during the course of all of that stuff, it still was the same. I was making these same kind of recordings everywhere, you know, like wherever I went, you know, um, I had so many, you know. All them years ago, wherever God's journey took me, that dark evil just shadowed me and followed me everywhere, you know, like just over my life, influences just enjoying my misery and suffering, you know, I mean, it's images that's etched into me that I just can never forget, and then some try to use that to discredit my testimony, you know, the damage that they done to say that, you know, my testimony, you know, that's just, if that's that's not suspicious. I ain't even, you know, I mean, I try to find some kind of way to devalue or discredit my legacy or testimonies, and it's my witness of Jesus. So the only thing to do that and the Christ, you know. So you know, it's crazy, you know. They got it ain't no kind of substances or, you know, none of that involved. You know, I'm sober minded. I know what my Bible say. You know. For the devil on the prowl like a roaring lion, you know. Jesus is Lord, you know, because that's the only reason whoever doing is doing it because Jesus. They seen the Christ in me and they hate that. That the Bible say, 
because there's no other reason. You know, I seen them, I seen the frames, the lies, caught the, all that exposed. You know what I mean? It's not my fault. You know, the devil just used somebody to say, we just make this person life here so you don't succeed for God's influence. And that's how it went down, you know. wiser than to at this point in my life certain decisions wouldn't be beneficial for me you know what I mean for me to come this far then to throw it away on something stupid you know that's totally irrational you know say no no kind of abuse or no kind of substances you know um, period you know the only thing my only poison is nicotine you know no alcohol no no you know things that um that ain't considered legal or nothing like that, you know what I mean? It's called wisdom, you know? Jesus is not a fool, man. Jesus, he instructed all his people, all his, his, his children in the earth. You know? But these things ain't nothing new, you know what I mean? It's shown light. To the best of my ability, and I still will, as long as God allow me, become more consumed with the Word of God, because He magnifies Word above His name. So that's important to Him. Very important to Him. Holy Bible is paramount. And that's what I go out saying. You know, Jesus, Lord. You know what I mean. That's what I was saying while that was happening. That's what whoever was orchestrating it knew and heard me saying. And then, you know, they knew Jesus was. Because Jesus is the I am, you know. And that's Yahweh Jireh, you know. Praise the Lord. It's real life, you know. Heavily persecuted, heavily persecuted for my faith in Christ. You know, here, you know what I mean. This happened. You know, this real life is just a lot of distortion and stuff went in the mix. You know, I suppose that identified it. But that's the devil. He hates to be identified. You identify his tactics, then he loses weapons. So you know. Testimony full of it. But some wish to encapsulate my whole contribution with false labels like, you know, a false, you know, a falsehoods, you know, um, like what is it? They got infringements, they got all types of false stuff in order to, as you know, as, as a way to facilitate frames and cover ups. And, you know, further facilitate hidden murders and conspiracy to commit murder, you know, um, ever so discreetly, you know, so I mean Lord, you know, make using time is no factor. You know, just pretty much however long it take, just because, you know, somebody believe in Jesus. You know, that's what it is. You know. Cause that's the only that's the only reason. As time will show that. You know. Backtracking will show that. Some you know, like just as with with some, and you see that this uh, the methods that were implemented were so sophisticated, it's a frame that meant for the utter ruin nation, you know, an utter destruction of a person. I mean, utter destruction, you know, because it's so sophisticated to the point that uh, there was a lot of like pre buttles made through actions. It's like pre buttles through words, but it was through actions, like things done in advance, just in case I do this as you know in response to this evil that was done to me. Or in response to that evil that was done to me, then boom, oh wow, you know, that right there is, there is something already in place. And that was already accommodated for, like, on high levels of society, you know, to the point where, like, some influential figures, you know, they got, they, you know, thrust themselves in certain positions so as that can be used as a cover, you know, to, you know, the evils that was being implemented low or um, discreet, you know, discreetly. And when the truth started coming out, then that'll be the shelter. For that evil, you know, it's of course misdirection and 
misleading. You know, things that were already also being implemented simultaneously, you know, against Christ Jesus in plain sight. But it's so many distractions, you know, erected to the point where, it's, you know, that's going to take the, the mass attention or whatever. And then they have so many other similar, you know, quote unquote, similar things manifest in order to take away from the main target, which is Christ Jesus, you know, or instrument that he's using. So either way, it keeps going back to the same thing, you know. Those who live righteous, a godly life in Christ Jesus shall be persecuted, you know. Hate without a cause. From high places and low places, you know, things that you wouldn't expect, like, that I didn't expect, I didn't see come, like, realities I didn't even follow, and it's just crazy, crazy. Crazy stuff. Supernatural has to be. No matter what, though, what, what comes in my life, you know, I say God is who He is. Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You know, Jesus is Lord. I stand by that as I did during those seasons and this season, you know, in this season. So, I mean, I mean, my faith still. In the most high. If it's his will, he'll deliver me. You know. Even at this very moment, you know, I'm still getting it. You know, it, it's crazy. Like, this whole idea of me being, like, you know, like, paid attention to in a certain way. You know, because um, you got to understand, like, when, when. I seen, like, just like when God opening certain doors for me you know that that dark evil shadow or you know satanic forces of evil antichrist spirits run right into that door you know run right into that door to, to sabotage it frame within it do anything you know they can you know to 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 manipulate or find some kind of way to undermine and destroy the opportunity because it's the antichrist you know knowing everything all things considered from past seasons to now Knowing that, you know, it's Christ Jesus that I stood by. And it's crazy. I like everything just snowball at the specific time that God opened specific though. Otherwise, I'm not even of relevance. You know, I'm talking about being murdered and having people, you know, having things coming to kill me. And, you know, getting absolutely no attention, you know, from society, you know, like regarding it. To all of a sudden, you know, it's like the truth. Like, I'm like, well, dang, you know, it's two or three years later. I, I mean, it's, I guess it's good, it's better, you know what I'm saying? It's better late than never, though, you know. But I, I appreciate, you know, all that God's done for me. You know, I try my best to give it all back, you know. Even my talent, yeah. Use that to glorify the Lord. But my very platforms and livelihoods, all of that be under siege, you know, consistently throughout the past years, you know, by the same evils, you know, that's had like a satanic fixation on my life you know and my death you know without cause you know I did no evil to them I didn't even know the existence of some entity let alone the reality that was set upon me so it's just like this is crazy you know it's, it, it was deep and it's heavy it was heavy you know and it's, it was merciless and brutal and this is real life you know like these are things that I you know but I don't desire no kind of assisted, you know, termination of myself, you know, anything of that nature. You know what I mean? I believe God can heal all things, you know, when he wills it. You know, he'll, he'll, he'll deliver me from trauma and things that I've amassed, you know, along this spiritual journey thus far. For speaking the truth of the light of God and still persecuted, you know what I mean? I just take it a day at a time, you know. There ain't no debate, you feel me, I mean Just said some argue about the framing situation That was already exposed as it was happening 
You know, I seen how it's, it's pretty much come like it with things. I mean, my words pretty much, they, I mean, they, they confirmed, you know, they clarify themselves. You know, that's why I say backtracking because a lot of stuff I already addressed, you know, and it, it don't make no sense to continue to talk in circles, you know, and reiterate stuff a thousand times because then that's showing something bigger is at work, you know, because if I don't have to keep repeating myself from things that already been proven, exposed, and illuminated, then it's showing that something bigger is like someone's actively trying to like make another, incessantly make another reaction, you know, something else play out, you know, contrary to facts, country, you know, in spite of facts, in spite of truth, in, in spite of evidence, in spite of proof, there's, you know, ulterior motive, there's someone working overriding all morality, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's something bigger than what's right, you know. It was wrong, and that's the reality, you know, the situation. Like, you know, it's like somebody tried to like turn the eyes against me by any means possible. It's just the strangest thing, you know. I did nothing but be great for God. My work reflect that. Because even as I was doing, making my work and my poems and stuff, I was still getting attacked, you know, faithfully, you know, the same by the same type of, you know, same level of persecution. It don't matter where you go. It don't matter what you do, what you say. You know, if you good, it don't matter if you're a good person. If you, if you help people, it don't matter. Like, it's just, it was ever present, like always, always, you know, destroying me, trying to kill me. All of this, I mean... It's just these memories that, you know, some don't go nowhere, man. But me personally, though, my eyes still on the sparrow, though. I believe God allowed things for a reason, and he, he never leaves, you know, he or forsakes, you know, of his children, you know. And I testify that Jesus Christ is Lord, and he was with me through all the dark times in my life you know through all of this stuff I'm speaking about the Lord Christ was with me you know and I mean I, I invite any to test my spirits you know any true born again can test my spirit and discern and then they can see that what I'm saying you know what I mean it's going to lie in the scripture back me by the word I'm fine with that you know, because I don't have nothing to hide. Nothing but transparency, you know. It's been real life, I guess. Something, you know. And then it still have, you know, aspects of your life still undermine simultaneous to all this stuff. You know. Or in spite of all that happens, you know. And then saying, someone saying that you're using, you know, the testimony of things that happen to undermine, you know what I'm saying, the situations at hand where there is no situations at hand. Because even now, I still conduct myself in an orderly, godly fashion. You know, even now, to this day, at this very moment, I do everything I'm supposed to do. God gave me more wisdom than to do something that would give Satan foothold after already knowing and experiencing and learning all the strategies and methods that I already know thus far. And notice that the same with the same nature being implemented in the present time then it wouldn't make much sense for me to put myself you know in, in dumb in a dumb position to be overtaken by something that I know how it's going to overtake me if I'm in that position like you know it just ah, you know what I mean some things we ask ourselves you know like nah with this person you know, knowing all, you know, his, his whole body of work, my whole contribution. And some trying to, like, encapsulate it in false labels to destroy it, you know, as a way to destroy evidence. You know, call it, to, you know, call it false things, label me falsely, you know, assassinate my character, you know, and all of this type of thing, you know, to de destroy evidence. You know, I'm like, no, let it, let let it be seen for what it is, and let you know if I had a uh, you know a fair chance that you know that which persecuted me mercilessly and brutally, you know, uh, for so long, so that you know my my talent light or whatever don't shine for God, then you know 
then why why not why can't my stuff have the same you know exposure you know as the stuff of the persecutors that you know was destroying me you know what i mean I'm com I'm two hundred percent confident in my in my truth contribution and everything. God is my witness, you know, I don't have nothing, you know, the extra like no I don't have no ulterior motives, you know. Man, that's why I say backtrack. I mean if I had something to hide, I wouldn't say that. That's everything. All my published works and these recordings here, you know what I mean? Feel free, you know what I mean? I know I went through good times, ups and downs, you know, and then the whole time was a was a was a downtime, you know. what I'm saying it was a bad time, but then you learn to find the good in the smaller things, even while you suffering in persecution, you know. what I'm saying because God is still present with you in persecution. Some not persecuted for something they done. Sometimes they persecuted for doing the right thing and being and you know pursuing the path of righteousness, like that of Job, you know. For instance, I mean. You know, not everything reactionary. I learned that the hard way. I thought life was, you know, like that. I thought for everything, you know, there's an equal or opposite reaction. In a way, you know, it is, but it, I, I always felt like that was, you know, how it's supposed to be. But you get persecuted for no reason. How yeah, you dream the store. But if God allowed, but nothing happens without God's knowledge. So if God allow it, then. He knows and use it for something, you know. But my faith still remains, though. You know, just know to keep your eyes, be vigilant, keep your eyes open these end times. It's getting worse and it's going to get worse. You know, uh, Christ is a target. Jesus Christ is a target right now. Is a target of what's antichrist. Is that black and white. In plain sight, all this stuff prove it. You know, only antichrist don't want the truth, you know, because Jesus is the truth. You know, in the light, in the way. You know, so it all connects. It's straight, you know. My faith still remain in the most high, though. Praise the Lord. God bless all the pure hearts, though. I'm still up.